Welcome back VC, Mark here. I wanted to show you a couple items that uh, I found this weekend. I've been looking for this box for quite some time. A friend of mine who owns a local record shop gave me a call, he got one in. So excited. Uh, this is uh, from the Numero group. This is number 50 and this is Purple Snow. Forecasting the Minneapolis sound. Amazing. I'm so excited to have this. This is an incredible set. I'm going to show you the uh, the hardcover book and then the vinyl. Um, just fantastic. So this uh, probably spans uh, through the mid to late 70s. Um, the Midwest definitely had a, a, a groove, a sound going on. Um, it's freezing outside, so what do you do? You go in your buddy's basement and you, you form bands and you jam all winter long. And uh, they just developed a real distinct sound. And uh, it's definitely a unique sound to uh, Minneapolis. And it is just um, telling of what would come from Prince and uh, all those talented musicians who came out of uh, that scene. So I'm going to start with the book here. It's beautifully done. A nice uh, kind of textured cover and uh, the photography is just just great look at that cat with his record collection just amazing to be honest I wasn't familiar with uh, quite a few of these bands they had one or two uh, releases on really obscure uh, labels, 45s. Let's see here. Uh, this is uh, Prince's yearbook uh, photo from, I think, seventh grade. Uh, there he is on the bottom there. I didn't even know this was in the book. This is the, uh, the hype on the shrink. Haze. Just really great pictures. I'm gonna fast forward to some of my some of my favorites. 94 East. This was the uh, the first group Prince was in with Andre Simone, just a great bass player. Great pictures here. The family, flight time. All you have to do is look at these cats and you know they're funked out. Just amazing. I've never seen this picture of Prince in the studio. He was probably uh, 17, maybe even 16. Great, great shots. Like I mentioned, Andre Simone, great bassist, really talented musician. He was in uh, Prince's uh, earliest lineup. Baby, I'm a star. Just a great book. I can't wait to read it. Um, I should show you in the back of the book, there's a discography of really rare labels that these songs were uh, released on. Here we go. All those seven inch singles. Anyway, phenomenal book. And then the uh, there's four uh, four vinyl albums. 
This one is uh, Creation Audio Recording, one of the studios that they, they did early recordings at. Nice purple labels, very fitting. The next one is 80 Sound. I'm assuming that was a uh, recording studio as well. Cookhouse Recording Studios, 2541 Nicolette Avenue, Minneapolis. And then uh, Chris Moon Sound. And uh, Chris Moon was the, uh, the first person to record uh, Prince. Uh, I think they wrote maybe one or two songs together on his For You album. Actually, I think it's just one song. Uh, but again, just nice purple label. The music on these records, unbelievable. I haven't listened to all the albums yet, but I, I wrote down a few standout tracks. Uh, the first one by Andre Simone, uh, Somebody Said. This was cut years before any of uh, Prince's solo work, but it kind of uh, foreshadows uh, the sound of, let's say, um, Dirty Mind. Uh, you really get that vibe from uh, Andre's recording. Uh, another song by 94 East, If You See Me. Really, really incredible track. Another track by Music, Love, and Funk, Stone Lover. Super funky, really good track. Uh, let's see. Prophets of Peace, Get It On. Another, uh, another funky track. I'm really looking forward to uh, digging into these uh, albums and uh, getting to know this music. I can't tell you how excited I am to uh, own this set. And this album was released in 1985, uh, the height of Prince's powers. And this was kind of to capitalize off of his success. Uh, 94 East, Minneapolis Genius. Um, again, a window into uh, the development of Prince, the Minneapolis sound. A uh, really nice set of songs. And the last item I'm going to show you is an item I uh, purchased from a friend, a uh, retired uh, industry. Uh, I don't want to say exact, but he was in the industry. And um, I've been eyeballing this for a while, and uh, he has uh, a few copies, so he let this one go. Uh, and this is uh, a promo. This is a Carl Wilson uh, album. And the backstory is uh, Carl was uh, touring and he was promoting the album, and they had a, a, just a bunch of these albums for him to sign. They had a, a black Sharpie, you know, and they were hoping that he would sign, you know, in the lighter part of the album. Well, um, from what I understand, all the Beach Boys were kind of difficult to deal with and uh, Carl was no exception. So he's like, you know, very hesitant, but he did sign them, but he grabbed a ballpoint pen and he, he, he signed them in the darkest part of the album. So I don't know if you can see the signature, but uh, of course this is a stamp promo and then that's his, uh, that's his signature there. Again, I don't know if it's really going to uh, going to show but I'm definitely going to frame this album I love Carl Wilson uh, just an incredible voice and I also have uh, from the album uh, the white label promo for heaven and that's on uh, the caribou uh, label so this is just another special piece to uh, add to my collection so that's all I have for you today Hope all is well. If you like the video, please subscribe. Stay safe.